and here we are with my first death due to disconnection in once human. But like the heroines in movies, I'll come back stronger than ever. Let's respawn in Deadville, hop on our bike, and head back to where we died to continue our exploration. Upon arriving, I found this red symbol, so let's gather what we lost and finish our exploration. On these shelves, we'll discover a page from the field guide titled, A Poisonous Gath. Continuing towards the town, we stop at this house where the mission leads us. While investigating, we see the shadow of a child entering the house and find another page from the field guide titled, Enemy. With the second investigation, we find another page from the field guide titled Mommy's Here, along with this heartbreaking scene. Moving into this area, we have Lowe's Quest, where we need to find a new deviation. Let's dive in and see what awaits us. Wow, a giant chandelier just appeared. Let's shoot an arrow at it and see how much damage we can do. Wow, immune, let's go. Heading towards the red point on the map, I found this switch on the wall. Let's activate it and see what happens. The fog has cleared, which is definitely a good thing. Let's loot everything in here and then see what's waiting for us ahead. Oh look, the giant has transformed into a beautiful little deviant. Let's go interact with it. Seeing the victory text above my head already makes me think we've successfully completed the mission. Great, let's see if I can capture it. Oh, I thought I couldn't keep it, but here it is. Let's grab it. Yes, it's mine now too. We've also found another paper doll. Lately, I've been getting so many of these. This cute monster with the hat and hostess outfit isn't friendly at all. It will start summoning more creatures, weather effects, and similar monsters. Try to take it down as quickly as possible because, despite its strength, it actually has low health. Did you see how many things a single umbrella can generate? It's definitely one of the most formidable monsters I've ever faced here in Once Human. At this point, before entering the mission, you can find another page from the field guide. Upon arriving in this new city, we have a new mission. Let's interact with the NPC to find out what they need. Something bothering you? You want me to get them for you? Okay, it's a pretty easy mission, but I don't have what they need with me right now, so we'll come back to it later. Let's start exploring the city that he fled from. On this house, you can find another page from the field guide titled, My Stupid Little Brother. At this market, there's another paper doll. I'm really building quite the collection. There's nothing too important down here, but I wanted to show how you can interact with the water and dive in. Actually, there's a gold piece for the disassembly bench here, but look how amazing it is to swim in this game. Truly fantastic. And there's also a modification for our weapons in this chest. Mark this area on your map because it's really full of crocodiles for harvesting their meat. Also, in this garage, you'll find another page from the field guide titled United Again. As usual, let's activate our rift anchor. In this area, we find a propeller, another gold item for the disassembly bench, and some chests.
Here's also a modifier that's already disassembled. This is the city of paper dolls. Wow. To unlock the mystical crate in this area, just climb up here. Continuing after the rift anchor, you'll find a ship and then reach a port where we are currently. Inside, there's another paper doll, though it seems like I'm just collecting these now. That's okay. We also have another page from the field guide titled Fix the Boat. Outside, we have our two mission objectives. These two red pickups where we need to turn on the radio. First one is activated, now let's head to the second. And the second one is activated too. But here's the vultures. Where's that damned hostess umbrella? There it is, let's smash it. Oh, look at that barrel. Shall we throw it and boom? Destroyed, but I wanted to be sure, so I fired a few extra shots just to confirm. Inside the ship, we'll find the mystical crate, completing the objective for the city. With 40 pieces of this beautiful wrenches, and another page of Field Guide Harborside. In all this, we've also reached level 20, unlocking new missions and access to the Eternal Land. Inside, there are two more paper dolls. At this point, I really don't want to drop any more. Inside this house, just above the pickups, we can find another page from the field guide titled Under the Cover of Darkness. In the kitchen, there's another page from the field guide titled The Best We Could. Now, we move to this van to place a bomb and reach the house beyond. Unfortunately, I missed capturing the explosion. But by reaching this lighthouse, we will complete another mission. At the top, we find this letter from Denise Cooper's journal, who was an explorer. It says, I failed. Despite multiple layers of waterproofing, my sampan deteriorated and cracked as soon as I came into contact with Stardust. Just before the sampan completely fell apart, I managed to steer it back to the Nalcott shore. At this point, I fully admit my failure to explore Wild Dog Isle. Time is running out, and I must embark on a journey up north this winter, where another significant mission awaits me. To whoever reads this note, I place my hope in the hands of you, future explorer. I am Captain Denise Cooper, an adventurer from the Union. I have vowed to explore this world covered by stardust, and Wild Dog Isle has been a long-standing thorn in my side. If you can reach the island, gather some basic information and deliver it to us. Another very sad letter, but now that we have completed most of the missions and are close to Meyer's Market, let's go deliver what we have found. I brought back a recipe. Ah, great, you made it back. Any luck? I found some recipes for you. Just think of all the work that went into these dishes. 
finally putting the best first generations, getting all the ingredients, marinating, cutting, cooking it, presenting it on the table. That's what our past is like, you know? That's what we did. Making food not just to survive, but as a joy. An art, even. I can keep this cookbook safe and try to reproduce it for future generations. Just make sure to cook something for me once you master those dishes. <laughs> You're a good egg. Here, this is your reward. And why don't you also take this to brighten up your home out in the wilderness? I found a letter home. Hey there. So, you made it back safe from that former mate flight base, huh? You tell me. Exactly why I hired you instead of going there myself. So, find anything my client might be interested in? This? A letter home? Huh! My client told me she always felt a letter like this existed, but had never been sent. So your client was the sister of a mayfly? That's right. There's an old story about a woman who lived on an island. She would light her lamp every night for her brother who she knew would be sailing home. And every night, she waited by the lamp so her brother never returned. Still, the light shone in the window, dispelling the darkness for her and guiding others back home. Point is, some sacrifices are worth remembering, and this is one of them. Thank you. I have some gifts for you. Weapons and armor mods. They're nothing fancy, but they should get the job done for now. Military supplies, where'd you get those? Besides sourcing collectibles, I also dabble in some black market trading to supplement my income. Don't you dare tell anyone that I'm charitable, because I'm not. But I think you could use this more in a useful cause. In case you don't know how they work, I have some manuals that might help. All right, these missions are also done. Let's head up to deliver the others. The Watcher only appears terrifying within the mist. And in the cold light of day, not much of a monster. It obviously reacts to the fog. The looming sun. What do you want to do? I don't know. Is this thing safe for to keep in my territory? Well, we can't just release it back into the wild now, can we? It must be contained. I'm sure you have a securement unit you can use to store this deviation. Just make sure not to let it fill your home up with fog. And if my suspicions are correct, this is actually quite a valuable find. I think it will be a boost to your combat fighting, if used properly. Don't worry. I'll help you find a way to control this little guy. Maybe it could become the guardian of your territory. All done. That's right. I put those explosives you gave me to good use. And that's it for today's video. After completing quite a few tasks and missions, remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, leave a like and a comment if you'd like, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on my latest videos.